lucky for us, pikas actually like uh, what we do to the environment in the Alpine for the most part, because what we'll do is we'll take rocks and stack them up to build trails. We'll take rocks and stack them up to build roads and they'll colonize those anthropogenic corridors. Um, they're not particularly worried about us. They're one of the best wildlife for us to watch because they're territorial and their territory probably includes a trail or something and they'll be right there every time you want to go see them. You know, pikas are pretty innocuous compared to the rodents. Uh, their, their teeth are weaker so they don't do as much damage boring into people's pecs or, or shoes or anything like that. They can't carry very much so they don't steal very much. They're not like a pack rat that's going to come steal your wild. They're mainly looking for salts probably. They're not the kind of animal that's that's probably going to want your food although it'll look like they, they do and you should never feed them. Um, just like all wildlife. Mainly pikas seem to be a little bit salt limited and they're they're interested in your sweat. What I like about pikas is that they are so individual. Uh, they have each one has its own little personality it seems like. They behave differently and yet consistently. An individual's personality is quite consistent across the years that we handle it. And uh, that's very interesting to me, something I never really anticipated at all going into this study. The main thing that we're doing to them uh, that's probably bad in the long run is uh, the climate change.